Hey guys, uh, welcome to the show. This is an Asian 2010, and today we're going to show you how to play Lux. Now, this is going to be a mid uh, AP carry for Lux. This isn't support. Uh, you can see Lux as support sometimes. She does have her shield, and she can uh, get that snare on people, so she can play support pretty well. But if I do have her support, I prefer to have like a Soraka or something, someone that can heal me, like a Sona or something like that. But anyways, besides the point, um, you're going to want to start off with a Doran's Ring. Right off the bat, Lux is pretty squishy, um, and the Doran's Ring will give you 80 health, 15 ability power, and 5 mana gen per 5 seconds. So this is not only going to help you out by giving a little bit more health, but it's going to get increase your ability power, so you're going to be doing more damage, and it's going to be giving you more mana per second. Uh, this gives you uh, one more mana per one second, additionally to whatever runes or masteries you have set up. So this is a great item for any starting uh, AP caster. Great starting item. Um, it's very common for any AP caster, really. Um, let's see what everyone has right now. Uh, let's see. So Ash is going with the Vampiric Scepter for early life seal. Okay. Interesting choice. It does work, though. Uh, Fiddlesticks is going for the Mechie Pendant. So that's more of a support Fiddlesticks, I guess. And then Shivana and Talon both got the Boots Pot up top. And Fiddle is not AD. Anyways. So let's check this out. I think I should be facing against a Cassiopeia or a Cannon. Those are the two that I think can go mid. The two that should go mid, really. And it's a Cassiopeia. Alright, against Cassiopeia, um, you have to be careful about her uh, poison. Because if that gets you, she can do her like Fang thing. I'm not really sure what it's called, but... The thing is, if you're poisoned by that attack, or by if you're poisoned by any attack, she can just spam you with her, um, I think it's her W or E. I think it's her E. Whatever the one where the two fangs that look scary and come and attack you. Anyways, um, with Lux, you want to be pretty good with your E. Obviously, use it to harass whoever you're landing with, or uh, farm those minions. It's very good for farming because it gets your uh, passive on pretty much everything. Because it is an AoE, so you're going to be getting your passive on a lot of those minions. And you can see, I'm just using I'm just using it to uh, harass her. Just kind of like guide her to where I want her to be. And get those uh, minions. Alright. She's already popped her health potion, so that means that I'm pretty much in the lead right now. Um, I didn't take a health pot. Because I like, as you as you saw, I went for the Doran's Ring, because it's very good early on. And it's starting to pay off, because that early ability power, 46, um, I'm not sure what she has. She only has 17, so she's not going to be doing anything to me. Um, she's very squishy with, uh, actually, she's not too squishy. Uh, 605 health, 18 ability power. Um, she's having to use another potion right there, so you can see this is working out pretty well. I just keep hitting her with that E, getting the auto attack on afterwards, doing extra as much damage as I can. Let's see, is anything going up here? Um, Tarek is getting harassed a little bit. Fiddlesticks and Ash should be doing some pretty good work down there. And now I notice that she's pretty, she wants to come back and then just hit her again with an E. She's really pissed off. She's not liking this. She cannot be enjoying this at all. Because I'm not letting her farm with my E and she's taking damage at the same time. <laughs> Alright, so I'm out of mana. Um, and I want to buy something. So I'm probably going to go back. I have Teleport, and I use Teleport Teleport um, with Lux or any really any mid is really good. Because think of it this way. A lot of people say, oh, well, Teleport's just if you have mana problems, which can be true, but early on, if you do have mana problems, you can just go back, Teleport. But then later game, which you're going to see me do, I think, you can gank a lot with Teleport. So it is kind of like a, a double-sided blade right there. And... Shaco killed Giovanna. Oh no, she's dead. Well, sucks for her. So let's just land your Q, 
Make sure to always get that auto attack because it's going to really do a lot of damage and it's going to piss them off too, to no end. Oh, I guess I don't get the kill. Hmm. But she's really low. One more attack, or one more ability should do it. And there we go. <laughs> Cassiopeia, um, she overextended her invite to the party. She didn't bring the right gift. Um, it was just bad for her. I had all the gifts, I brought the right presents, and therefore I was allowed to stay in that party. Cassiopeia just, you know, didn't work out for her. So better luck next time. Now with this, you do have to be careful because we do have a jungle Shaco that I think is just going to come out of nowhere. Or that's what he does, he just comes out of nowhere. Um, and you do have to be careful because I just used my alt and I'm kind of low on mana. And I don't know where Shaco is. So you do have to be careful if you're facing a Shaco at all times. So I'm just going to head back right now. I don't want to stay here too long. Alright, so I'm going to go with the Cage's Lucky Pick and Boots. Now the reason I got Cage's Lucky Pick... I think is... <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk. Um, it gives you 25 extra ability power. So I'm at 76 right now. That's pretty good. Um, obviously getting the boots because they are very important early game and later game as well. Uh, Cage's Lucky Pick. Its unique passive is the reason I get it is it'll give you additional 5 gold every 10 seconds. So every 2 seconds you're getting an additional 1 gold. So even if you don't farm well, it won't matter as much because you're still getting gold from Cage's. Now I'm kind of lucky that the Shivana or Shivana, this Cassiopeia wasn't very good because um, she just let me hit her with every single one of my abilities. There we go. Oh no, who's dying? Oh no, everyone's dying. No, team why? All right. So obviously, getting the boots will help me around. Let's see what Cassiopeia's got. Um, she picked up a Dorn's Ring. She probably should have done that earlier. She's at 30 CS, I'm at 44. So we're starting to pull ahead in the CS battle. Making her miss all those um, abilities. Now if I can, I want to get a snare off her because it can go through two people. Or it goes through the first person and hits the person behind it. So a lot of people don't just underestimate that about Lux. They say, oh well there's a minion in front of me. She can't hit me. Well, the snare, her Q, Lux's Q, can go through one person and go and hit the next person behind it. So use that to your advantage if you find yourself in a way to use that, I guess. Obviously, still starting, um, starting to farm very well with my E. I like to level up my E first and then my Q. Obviously, with my ultimate whenever I can. And you can see she's level 7, I'm level 8, so this is starting to work out pretty well in my lane. I'm starting to dominate my lane, I would say. 51 CS to 37. <laughs> but E is starting to do some decent damage right there. Now she is low on mana and she is below half health. She doesn't have any potions, I don't believe. Yeah, so she can't really do anything right now. So I'll just let her... Oh? Oh. <laughs> there you go. Another party Cassiopeia just was not invited to. She did not like that. But I don't care because she's dead. She's gone. And she's not going to get any of this experience or gold from these minions. So we're taking a commanding lead over this Cassiopeia. And oh no, there's a Shaco. What am I going to do? Oh no, 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 no. This is not looking good. I'm exhausted. I am <laughs> ignited too. Oh, I have the shield. Pop the shield, is it going to save me? Oh man! <laughs> 35 health with the shield to save my life. Try again, Shaco. Nice try. Um, so that was a pretty good move by me. He's wasted both his exhaust and his ignite to no avail. Um, just popping that shield, which does stop any damage for a certain amount of time. Let's see. It touches it. Um... Any champion it touches, and for 80 plus 28 damage, for 108 damage it protected me from. So that was pretty good play by me. 
It's a very good opportunity to use your uh, spell shield right there. It's not, oh, spell shield, excuse me. It's just a regular shield. It's not a spell shield. But when you're ignited, um, as you can see, prismatic barrier, your shield can't save your life. I'm just going to toss out the E to get those two minions. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much how that's going to work. I was very fortunate, too, that he wasted both of them. Pretty bad timing. He didn't use any abilities on me, which I'm kind of curious as to why he didn't. He's poking his head out. He wants revenge. Snared. Lasered. Auto-attacked. Probably could have done that. That was pretty sloppy. Could have done that a little bit better. But whatever. We are still pretty much winning our lane. 21 more CS. 2-0, and, oh, and she's 0-2. Oh she's... When you see this, multiple Dorn's rings on the person you're playing against, uh, that means you're winning. That means they're starting to get desperate, and oh no! Why are going up here? Talon taking massive damage from that... Oh no! He's popping the shield, or the popping the shield, excuse me, the potion. Talon will go down, but... Shaka will go down as well with the help of Shivana. Now, is anything going down here? No. So, pretty boring so far, bottom lane, no offense. Um, that just means they're doing pretty well. They're holding off whoever they're facing. I think it's Kennen and Tarek. Uh, they want us to go Dragon, but I'm not ready for that yet. Alright, they do find an... Okay, there is another Ash down there. Oh no, will this be enough? <laughs> oh, it is enough. Oh my god. This Cassiopeia is just not liking me. She's not having a good day. So that's the thing with Lux. You can, if you see someone right next to the left of their tower, toss out a Q, because they can't go through this tower. They have to go either in front of you, towards you. Oh no, and here's a Shaco! Uh, tossing out that shield to save my life. Oh no. Alright, tossing up the Q, doing auto attack. Oh, he's taking massive damage. I'm able to kill him here. He is not going to want to try that again. He tried to gank and almost got killed himself. So that's the power of the locks combination right there. Q, auto attack. E, auto attack for the slow. And if you do have it, ultimate. I think they want to kill someone down here. I'm not sure. Alright. Cassiopeia, let's see, she's got Sort Shoes. That's a good choice. Um, to be honest, I don't know what else she could have got. She could have she got, um, I don't know, some Magic Resist probably would have helped her. Maybe going for that early Abyssal Scepter to get some AP and Magic Resist at the same time. But that's not the case. She is only level 9, I'm about to be a level 11. <laughs> So pretty big lead right here. Wow, that E is doing a lot of damage. <laughs> that was a poor timing for the ultimate. Now I'm just going to cast out my E for the auto attack after, and there's another kill. So this Cassiopeia is just not, not doing too well at all. I don't know what she was thinking pulling out her ult. She was in no way in the right... She's just... I don't know. That was not a right time for her to pull out the ult. Oh no. No. Oh, well, Fiddle Six over here got the kill. Sorry I didn't see that. Okay. Whatever. Now let's go back to my build. Cage's lucky pick, you want to keep this for the entire game, because once you upgrade this, you're not gonna be getting your gold anymore. So you wanna keep this until the late game. Obviously, uh I'm getting the Ionian boots of lucidity. This is gonna give me the improved movement for a tier 2 boots and 15% cooldown reduction. Now the reason I do this is for, obviously I want to be able to spam my laser, but if I'm being attacked, I do want to be able to make sure I can CC with uh, both my Q and my E, and if I'm being a taking heavy damage, uh, I want to toss on my shield as much as possible. Now that's the thing, um, with your E, if uh, whoever you're facing starts coming up to you, and there's kind of some minions over here, 
Just toss out your E. They're not gonna want to go through it. If they do, they're stupid. And over here, oh my god. Talon's taking some damage. I don't know why he was ignited. He's only half damage now. Um, let's see if we can kill him. Unless I get down syndrome and don't pull this off. This should be an easy kill. Alright. I should snare. I don't know why I didn't pop that. That's probably going to cost me the kill. Yeah. If I pop that E, which I should have. I don't know why I didn't. But that should have been a kill for me. That was a bad play. Uh, don't learn from that. That was stupid. I don't know why I did that. But. I don't know. I'm still doing pretty well, though. Let's see. 100 CS. Cassiopeia is 71. So a 30 plus lead. I am 4-0. She is 0-4. <laughs> she is getting the triple Doran's rings. That is a commanding lead for me against Cassiopeia. So now I'm picking up the Blasting Wand and the uh, Needlessly Large Rod. Together that is 120 extra, di uh, extra ability power, so my E just clears out minions from full health. These two obviously are going to go into the um, Rabadon's Death Cap. Now see, that's a good placing right here because she doesn't want to go into it, and I got the minions as well. With Lux, it's all about timing, and... Well, I don't know why she didn't move out of that. But it's all about timing and kind of placement, and location, really. Uh -oh. Oh, Shaco, here's your dead body. Let's look at it. Oh, Talon's taking some damage from Tarek. Shivana's really low health, but I think she may be able to pull this off. I'm going to go see if I can try and help her out. Maybe land an E or a Q on her. Uh, it does look like he's running away. And oh my god, Cassiopeia is going to try and take this. No, but that's going to be an easy kill for me. Now I'm just going to land the E for the extra auto attack for extra damage. She is ignited, and the auto attack will get the double kill. <laughs> and people are dying down here too, but that's a good trade. I got a double kill and two assists for that. Oh no. Oh. I'm sorry, I couldn't help you out. Alright, it is 10 and 7 though. I am going 6 0 and 0. 110, I've reached 100 CS before anyone else. Cassiopeia has only gotten 4 in the time that I've gotten 10 more. So this is starting to be pretty bad for her. Um, another thing that I do want to mention with Lux if you start getting kills like I am, or getting, um, if you think you're going to get kills and assists, um, you want to go for the Soul Stealer. Because that, on stacks, will give you more ability per stacks and per kill. I'm not really sure how much, but for me, that would have been a really good item right now to get. And looks like Talon is pulling off pretty well against Shaco. He's in the fetal position right now. Yeah, he's not liking that. This tower should go down. Toss out the E. She's going to stay back. She doesn't want to fight me right now. And she's going to stay back there. Taking the turret, I now have enough for death cap, which is 1140, I believe, to buy. So that's going to give me a lot. Let's see. Gives you 140 additional ability power, plus increases your ability power by 30%. So that's going to be a lot of damage doing that I'm going to be doing. Again, just trying to dodge those um, poison attacks from Cassiopeia. Make sure she's not doing any damage to you. And I think we're going to go for the kill here. Let's see if we can get a snare. Alright, Shaco's taking it. Let's just... Hmm. Give him a nice Demacian laser to the face. He really enjoyed that. I know I did. Um, Talon's going to pick up the second kill for that on Cassiopeia. And we're going to get a double assist. And another kill from down here. Ash and Fiddlesticks picking up the kill on Kennen. Doing very well in their lane. So this is starting to be a dominating lead. I think we're going to go try take dragon over here yes we are so we're gonna take an uncontested dragon over here it's gonna give us all 190 gold I believe is what it is can we pull it off we should be able to take it he should be pretty low health by now there we go an extra 190 gold for all of us um, I do finish off my Rabadon, so I'm doing 297 ability power. My uh, Finale's Funkalin, or however the hell you pronounce that. It's doing around 600 plus damage, so that's pretty good. It's nice and dandy. I'm just going to ult him, just for the hell of it. Just to piss him off, I guess. 
<laughs> really starting to do some heavy damage on that AP. Let's see what's going down here. I think Talon wants to get a kill here. So we're just keeping keeping these two at bay. We know Shaco's up here, so we cannot be ganked. We know where every one of them are. Ash can pull off an arrow right now. That Ash would be pretty much dead. Just taking all those CS. Now I know they can't do anything against me. Um, let's see, does she have flash? Oh no! No, Ash, why? You are too young. Um, the thing about Cassiope is she if she has flash, she can uh, flash and ult you, and then everyone is just going to come in and just try and kill you. Not sure if she has flash though. She is going to be hit by the Q, and the ultimate is almost going to take her down, but it's not. Terry's going to help, help out and uh, prevent me from going in for the kill. But I do think Talon might be able to pick her off if she decides to go in the bush. And she is. And that should be an easy kill for Talon. There it is for the assist. So, Cage's lucky pick is giving me a lot of gold now. I have over a thousand, so... Um, I should start building some defensive right now because I don't want to be killed for the uh, takedown. And Fiddlesticks landing his ultimate. Kaka Kaka taking the drain. Gonna take down Kennen pretty easily. Uh, silencing Ash while she runs away in fear. Alright, taking up the Giant's Belt. Now, you're probably wondering, Asian, what the hell's wrong with you? Giant's Belt on Lux? Well, this is going to go into Riali's Crystal Scepter. Let me look that up real quick. This is going to give me 500 health, 80 additional ability power, and... Which, hold on, let me look at this battle down here. I'm just going to laser Ash and uh, take her down from like full health to about no health. Town's going to pick up the easy kill. Um, he's unstoppable, I'm legendary, or something, legendary or in a killing spree, whatever. Anyways, back to this build. Riali's crystal, uh, crystal Scepter, 500 additional health, 80 additional ability power, and the unique passive will deal, um, dealing any spell damage will slow the target's movement speed by 35 seconds for 1.5 seconds, 15% uh, for multi-target damage over time spells. So that's going to be like Morgana's pool or something like that. Basically, I just want to get some more health and see if I can chase people down with that slow. So that's why I got that. So we know where Tarek is. We see two people down here. Um, we see Shaco, so I don't know what he's thinking. can't believe I missed that. Oh no, Ash. <laughs> we need to stay away from this. I have no ability power or uh, no mana. Oh no! Oh, nice flash by Talon to avoid the arrow from Ash. Very well done. Well, that Ken is doing massive damage though. Ash is gonna fall, and Talon is gonna be doing some massive damage against Shaco. Will he take the kill? He will take the kill, but he is going to go down against Cassiopeia. Now, Fiddlesticks and I can't really do anything about this. I'm gonna go back because I have no mana. Um. I am actually level 5. Okay, here we go. Shivana's going to be able to do something here, maybe. Um, I can land a Q, possibly. Probably should have. Oh, I'm going to just go for the ult. There we go. Kennen. Oh, he should go for Kennen. Oh, he's going to rush away. Oh, he's being exhausted, but I think Cassiopeia will be fine. Flashing over the slow from the volley from Ash. That's a good move. Uh, Terra could have also put another slow up, so that was probably a good choice to flash away from that. Our top tower is actually going to take some pretty good damage. Might go down. Um, actually, I can't check the health of it for some reason. It says it's full, so... Fiddlestick's just draining everybody over here. Um, I'm going to pick up the Catalyst. I don't know why we exhausted Terra. I'm going to pick up the Catalyst for the extra 325 mana, and oh no, <laughs> Fiddlesticks just being killed by Tarek over there. Yeah, Shivana. Oh, there's an Ash Arrow going up, and it does hit Shaco, but it's the wrong Shaco. <laughs> K 
Catalyst, obviously a very good item for any AP caster or anyone who needs some extra health and uh, mana. This is more likely going to go into a Rod of Ages than a... Uh... Oh, I do see Ash here, see if we can land a Q. Get the Q. <laughs> she has no idea I'm here, and with the laser to the face. Nice Demacian justice for her. Uh, she had no idea what was going on there. The E will give you vision over anyone in the area. Um, and that's exactly what happened there. E gave me vision, casted down my Q, she could not move. Just give her a nice laser as a present, and she... She didn't really like that. She would like a refund on that present for the laser, because... She got killed. And now Tarek is out of position. Landing the Q on the Tarek. Gonna slop him, slop him, stop him for a little bit. And Ash... You should put that Q on for that slow frost shot. That would have probably gotten the kill. Um, you have plenty of mana for that, so I don't know why you didn't. But nonetheless, doesn't matter. Scared them off. Um, top lane is still here, surprisingly. Shaco might be able to pull it off, but Shivana is going in for the kill. She smells blood. It is... Oh... Taking pretty heavy damage, but that's the wrong Shaco. Shaco's gonna want to go for it, and he's almost dying. But he might be able to get away. He has pretty good escape. Setting up the exhaust on Shivana, the fear from the box. Oh, he's gonna be able to get away pretty, pretty easily. Unless he tries to wander out. Oh, drain on Ash. Ash flashing terribly away, and then Ash being able to uh, pick up the easy kill on that. Tarek still harassing Ash and Fiddlesticks down here. Uh, the volley missing by Cog, or Cog, or Cogig, actually. So a little scrim down here. The ultimate going down by Fiddlesticks doing some damage to, but not enough. No! Ash will go down from the hit by uh, Tarek. Let's give him a nice arrow, or arrow. Laser to the face, pick up the easy kill, and revenge. So that's an assist for both Fiddlesticks and Ash. Getting a skull for pretty much everybody. Now, Ken is going to try and chase Shivana. We're going to go and follow, see if he's going to chase and be stupid about it. Uh, he is not. I think he knows we're here. Talon's going to go for Dragon by himself. Which he can. So we're going to try and just keep the pressure on right here. Um, stall to let Talon get the free, easy Dragon up here. Just picking up a few minions. What is the score, by the way? 192 to Cassiope is 113, so it is almost double Perseus. I'm A05, she is 181, so this is going terribly for her. She still has those three Dorn's rings. Hasn't even picked up the Rabbit on Death Cop yet, so this is going bad for her. I don't have Flash, so I can't try and get that Flash Q off, but... Let's see if I can get the kill. Oh my god! 8 health by Ash! I almost killed her! <laughs> Oh my god, she did not like that. I can't believe that. 8 health. Oh, Shaco's going down. Let's toss out the Q, doing some nice damage. AoE with the E, doing some additional damage to that Shaco and taking up the kill against Kennen. Shivana and Fiddlesix will take up that kill. Nice teamwork by our team right there. Um, it was a bad move right there for them to go on that, because they know... I can snare two of them at the same time, which is exactly what happened. Toss out the E, they were slowed, taking extra damage. And we have finished our Riolis right now, so we have almost, um, wow. Well, that was a waste of an arrow, I must say, by the other Ash. If you're going to use your arrow, make sure you can follow up and try and do some damage and get a kill or something, but that was pretty bad. Ash is going to be hit by this Shivana. She's just face-checking this bush. She's going to go down. She's just melted immediately by the Shivana. Talon and Ash. Now they don't want to follow into this. I don't know what they're thinking. This is now a four on two if they choose to initiate on this. And now <laughs> people just melting down this Tarek. He's going to go into my E and he's going to be snared. No, he's not, but he's going to be exhausted for the kill. Now we have Shaco trying to do some extra damage on Fiddle Six. Fiddle Six is going to do the drain, make sure he does not die, but he actually does die. But we do get the kill on Shaco. And more people are just pouring in. Kennen. My ultimate doing massive damage on Cassiopeia. One more auto attack. There we go for the kill. And then another AoE. Will Talon be able to pick up the kill? He might. He is pretty low, but no. Taking that turret aggro will not be able to take up that kill. But nice work. 
Um, that was a one for three exchange. Pretty nice. I'll take that anytime, really. Um, so, this is going really well for us. I have enough to finish um, Rada almost. Two more for Rada of Ages. Um, you can see I'm building health later on because I don't want to die. Um, <laughs> just take half health right there. I'm not very happy about that, but what is she going to do? Uh, my ultimate now on a 32.4 second cooldown, thanks to CD Boots. And if I get Cage's Lucky Pick, I can actually go for Deathfire Grass, which will give me even more. I can buy Rod of Ages, but Deathfire Grasp gives me more ability power, 15% uh, cooldown reduction, and I can basically do a little bit of a nuke with its unique active, which deals magic damage to a target champion equal to 25% of their current health, and 4% per 100 ability power with a minimum of 20 damage. Um, Talon picking up a kill somewhere around here. Sorry I didn't see that Talon. Cassiopeia just defending her cannon. So Deathfire Grasp... Deathfire, Deathfire Grasp, I'm sorry I can't say that. Oh Talon going in, taking the turret aggro but doing a lot of damage to Cassiopeia and there is the GG. Um, yeah, that's how to play Lux. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll catch you guys next time.